Hello YouTube. I thought I would share with you a brief video on these very interesting little pens that I've acquired. I saw them advertised on a, an auction and purchased them. They were kind of an afterthought in a box of other nibs, uh, lettering nibs. Uh, these weren't even mentioned in the description, but I looked at them and I thought they were awfully unusual looking. I thought at the time that maybe these were an early version of a mechanical pencil that maybe this screwed down and uh, attached to a, a lead sticking out here uh, and allowed you to uh, use a mechanical pencil or a, uh, in, a, in a dip pen. So I ordered them out of sheer curiosity and uh, found that I was wrong. This is not at all uh, a lead holder. If you dismantle the pen, you get the body that looks like this with a number stamped on it. That one says 20. This one says 5. I don't know what it's in reference to other than maybe a relative size difference. You get a cap and you get this plunger with a steel shaft on it. Inside the pen body here is hollow and there's a reverse profile of this plunger inside so that it comes and nests down on top of it. And I don't know how these pens were filled, but the way I've chosen to do it is when the pen is assembled like that, I take the ink, which today's ink is Private Reserve Chocolate, I take a syringe. One of my children is diabetic and so I have quite a number of little syringes like this available for me to use and it works quite nicely. And I'll just drop the ink and squirt it into that hole and then screw the top on. And then you would put it in your pen staff. One thing that I noticed is that the size of the, I don't know what you would call that there, uh, is larger than an, what I would call a normal nib. This is a Gilbert and Blanzy nib, a standard sized uh, nib uh, shank, I'll call it for lack of a better word. And uh, you can see it's quite a bit smaller. If I line up these two edges, quite a bit smaller than this one. So you need a pen that's fairly large to hold that. So this one here is already inked as is that other one. Uh, they may have been filled back in the day with something like a, a glass eyedropper, I don't know. So what I've determined is that this wasn't a pencil as I stated. I got thinking of the pens that are still made today, at least I believe they are, called a repeatograph pen, which is a technical drawing or um, drafting pen and they've got a sharp pointed tube here at the end uh, just like these do and you can fill an ink reservoir more like a modern fountain pen than this is and you can write and so I thought that must be what these are so I filled it up with ink and tried it out and sure enough uh, it draws beautifully uniformly thick lines um, works best straight up and down as opposed to maybe side to side and what's happening here the mechanism is as I push on this that needle with the plunger attached to it is pressed up it releases uh, itself from the seal and allows ink to flow down through the steel tube and make capillary contact with the page allowing you to write. I don't know what these pens were used for I don't even know when they were manufactured I suspect they're vintage I think a, a more modern pen for this purpose would use different um, different engineering altogether so I think it's probably similar in era to a, a nib like this and I suspect it was used for technical drawing and drafting. And you can switch pens and get a different sized line. And 
and they probably came in a, a series, uh, several pens, not just a 5 and a 20. There were probably a, a number of different sizes in between, just like you would find in a technical pen today. I thought it was super fascinating and uh, certainly worth sharing with, with uh, you folks on YouTube. If any of you know more about these things, by the way, the, the packet of nibs that I got these in uh, was uh, a Gilbert and Blanzy um, lettering set. And um, I don't know if these were just an afterthought, if they were manufactured by Gilbert and Blanzy or just stuck in the box. There's no branding on these anywhere, so it's hard to tell. But if any of you know more about those, please post it for the rest of us to learn. Uh, more about what these things are because I think they're interesting. So again the ink was Private Reserve Chocolate, the nibs, some unknown assumed uh, technical pens, uh, assumed a vintage manufacturer though I don't know, and the paper is the uh, SN squared paper that I've been developing and uh, one day we'll get a full uh, video up for you. Very good paper that has little no bleed through even with uh, very heavy lines. I hope you enjoyed this uh, and I hope somebody out there knows more about these and can inform the rest of us on what these things were actually used for. There's my best guess for you. Have a wonderful day.